My whole start with, with David was basically I engineered some of the Space Oddity album and mixed, did overdubs and mixed Man Who Sold the World. Then David came in to start the Arnold Corns sessions and I, I was put on it originally. And I had reached a point where I wanted to have more artistic say. And I happened to mention this to, to David during one of the many tea breaks. And he said, well, I've, I've just signed a new management deal. Uh, they want to put me into the studio immediately to record an album so we can shop a deal. I was going to produce it myself. I don't know if I'm capable of doing it. Will you co-produce it with me? I think both David and I were nervous going into the project because neither of us had really done it before ourselves. But as we worked further and further along in the process, we were finding our feet and our ideas were working, what we were putting together was starting to sound really good. And that just gave us more confidence to push, it, push the envelope even further. Coming into Hunky Dory, it just, he was in control. He knew my background was working with George Martin and Gus Dudgeon, who were very hands-off. They were there to make suggestions if they were needed, but otherwise it's up to the artist. The talent is put into the studio to do one thing, and that's to create. David knew that was the way I was trained, that's the way I worked, and I think that's what he, he needed. He knew what I could bring to, to his recordings, much the same as the musicians. David's whole thing was how he could put together a team to give him exactly what he was looking for at any given moment. That's why when he wanted that blue-eyed soul thing, go to America, use those musicians. And it was the same with the team for, for Hunky Dory, Ziggy, Aladdin Insane. Not much needed to be said. He knew what we were all capable of, we knew the songs, then he'd let us get on with it. And much the same with the mixing. David came to very, very few mixing sessions uh, during the whole period I worked with him. I can only remember two of them. He got bored in the studio. It, it, it's When you have a, a, a performer that every time it's his vocal performance is one take, the first take from beginning to end, no auto-tune, no moving anything. It was whatever he sang that first time through, that's what we still hear today. He was brilliant, absolutely amazing as a performer in the studio. And I can see why he'd get bored. He does it just like that. Why sit around listening to me playing the same thing time and time again? So he, he just didn't bother and he, he knew I was more than capable of giving him what he wanted. Now they change me.